Welcome back to Efax number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Now it seems like this engagement of song by Jovial came about with a lot of things. As much as there were fans who were really happy for the couple, there were those who were not so happy for them and they were saying things that anyway they deserve each other. Lydia dodged a bullet with this one. People are just saying all sort of things, but they're not all negative. We dived into that a little bit and I'll link that video just in case you had missed it and you can see how that proposal went. But it seems like this time around that hate was too much for Jovial and she said, adios, deuces, peace, I'm done. I have left that mic for you guys. He is free now. Now you know what? Lydia is not the problem in the situation. The fans are. People who have refused to accept that each party has moved on and the person who has constantly been on the receiving end is Jovial. And in the YouTube video that they did, Mike did put out that Wacheni Kutukana Bibi Yangu. But in that video, we also got to hear that these comments from netizens do affect Jovial. And it seems like this time around, it got into her. And I want us to dive into the statement that she put out. And maybe you guys can interpret what she meant that she has left him her peace comes first. Now, I must let you guys know that this post was somehow temporary. It was out there for a short time and it was deleted. But, you know, guys, I always got you. So here is what was put out. Pete tu, wate mumekimbia kwa channel na maumivu. Na ndoa J, she's toxic, she's trying to bash the other woman. Man, I'm tired of keeping quiet. His past is none of my effing business. Kwan mimi ndio wa kwanza kupendwa, don't know shit about nobody because I mind my damn business. I ask questions that he chose because I respect him. For those who might not understand what she means by these questions, in the YouTube video channel, that is Romeo and Juliet 254. She asked Mike if there's anything that he misses in his previous relationship. And he said he misses nothing. If there's anything to say, he will say it. And Jovial was still insisting that he needs to have an answer. Otherwise, he's hiding something. And some people felt that she is an insecure woman. Why is she bringing up questions that make him answer or rather talk about his past? But these questions were not directly from Jovial. They were question cards and she was reading directly from them. But I think the fact that she was insisting for an answer, that is what got people feel like she's insecure. Anyway, let's continue. I ask questions that he chose because I respect him. Let me make this clear. Mike comes with every content posted on the channel because I have my own channel which contains my music that I give a hundred percent focus on. Every question I ask, he has chosen it. Wanawake wengine mupunguze uchawi ndio mubarikiwe. Alibarikiwa amebarikiwa. Haya ndio huyo, he's free. I don't need no drama in my life and you can see the peace sign. Also could be goodbye, adios, and she's done. So what do you interpret with this? I don't need no drama in my life. So of course that is very clear. But she also puts out, haya ndio huyo, he's free. In the beginning, she could put out my man. But now she's putting out, he's somebody who is free. He's there. You guys now can take him. Haya ndio huyo. And it also seems like she's putting out that this has been costing her her peace too much drama and maybe she's just done with this so is the relationship over was she just pissed off and put this out because i told you guys this post was not up for too long i think maximum about an hour or perhaps 40 minutes now i don't know about you guys if she loves this man and he equally loves her back perhaps they can decide to deactivate the comment section to guard her peace because mike put out on the video that he got into this relationship eight about eight months after he broke up with lydia she usually catches the backlash most of the time from people saying that he's using her people saying that I'm a mweka, all sort of things. Perhaps you've had all this on social media. But it seems like she's letting what these fans who have not yet come to terms with Lydia and Mike being separate get to her. And perhaps maybe most of these people who are trolls are happy with seeing that she is indeed affected by this. On the other hand, Lydia is totally unbothered by what is happening on the other side. She does not talk about them. She does not perhaps 
jabs, throw low jabs on social media. She does not put things here and there to insinuate anything. She's just minding her business, doing her things. Even if some people are putting anything or tagging her, she has clearly stayed on her lane and ignored all this. But it seems like on this other side, some fans are making it extremely difficult difficult for perhaps Mike or Jovial to enjoy their newfound love. Anyway, that's it. You are up to date. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so to the first to be notified once you have any new uploads. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.